I was really looking for a place where there's a big emphasis on education for learning's sake. The academic experience at Haverford is characterized by deep engagement in a process of intellectual and personal growth. Students are encouraged to test limits of knowledge and belief in a setting where relationships extend beyond the boundaries of classroom and campus. In the reading we're talking about us. The expansiveness of the curriculum and the options that students um, have when they come to explore their intellectual interests before they determine their major. The students can uh, really grow at their own pace. A Haverford education is an intense four-year journey of exploration, risk-taking, and discovery at a time when students learn how to think, write, and speak critically. Haverford's size takes this to an even higher level. Something about the sort of small liberal arts feel really was attractive to me. My professors are invested in my education. They will shoot me an email if I'm sick and say, you know, you can see you in class, how's it going, are you okay? Right now I'm in a class that has six students. It meets in the professor's living room, although last week we met uh, at a local coffee shop. Some of the world's best and brightest students are drawn to Haverford by the opportunity to actively engage in scholarship on the highest level. Our approach to education revolves around discussion-oriented classes, incredible opportunities for research, and the chance to explore the full depth and breadth of the curriculum. You know, it's not just a matter of knowing your teacher well, but knowing the other people you're studying with and following them on their sort of journey through education as well. The goal in the classroom is really to create a space for conversation, for give and take, and to allow the students to take sort of ownership of what we're teaching. Haverford is also one of the very few institutions that requires all students to produce a senior thesis, believing that every student is capable of and benefits from a capstone project of extensive and independent work. The Haverford classroom is, is really a, a workshop. It's a laboratory. Try out your thoughts, try out the questions. In this environment, you're going to learn how to be able to do these things properly. To promote interdisciplinary study and to help extend the academic experience beyond the boundaries of the traditional classroom, Haverford College has three academic centers. We have a science center, we have a humanity center, and we have the, the Center for Peace and Global Citizenship, which we refer to as the CPGC. The science center, which is what I'm mostly involved in, is basically involved in really trying to get each of the different areas of science on campus to talk to each other and it funds a lot of the summer research. Today we call such thinking biological racism. The Humanities Center hosts guest speakers, provides internships and student research assistantships, and sponsors faculty and student-led seminars. The students then meet five or six times in a semester to talk about materials. They invite speakers in to do this. So what this means is that students become professors in their own right. If I catch it early enough, I could possibly live longer. The Center for Peace and Global Citizenship sponsors Friday afternoon conversations du jour, tackling issues of global significance. We really only have them for four years, and so for us it's an exciting time to say, you're going to be part of the generation that's going to help solve these problems, and in order for you to do that, there's a certain amount of information and knowledge that you need to prepare yourself for this work. A centerpiece of the CPGC is the funding that's available for students to pursue internships and social justice projects abroad. In fact, nearly all Haverford students will take the opportunity to engage outside the walls of campus through programs like study abroad, winter externships, and summer internships. You know, I know people who are going to Ghana and Senegal and, you know, Eastern Europe and, you know, all over the place. From this past summer, I had an internship at a birth center in West Laco, Texas. Being exposed to that um, atmosphere, it gave me an adrenaline rush and it kind of made me realize that that was something I'd like to do with the rest of my life. Haverford is also part of a unique three-college consortium with nearby Bryn Mawr and Swarthmore Colleges and with additional opportunities at the University of Pennsylvania. It's amazing. I mean, any class that isn't at Haverford, you can find at Bryn Mawr. And if you can't find it at Bryn Mawr, you can find it at Swarthmore. If you can't find it in the Trico, then you can go to Penn. That means you get four different uh, types of education for the same amount of money. I think it's great. I love it. Qu'est-ce qui serait changé si c'était un professeur de latin et drac? The Haverford Bryn Mawr relationship, referred to as the BICO, is in many ways the closest. In addition to the chance to take classes, students can pursue their major at Bryn Mawr, and there is extraordinary extracurricular and social crossover between the schools. And you know, it really just kind of gives you the luxury of a small school with some, some extra resources that a larger school might have. I actually give Haverford a lot of credit for starting my active career. Haverford also has a dedicated alumni network 
that helps connect students to the many possibilities that will exist for them after they graduate, demonstrating there are no limits to what one can do with a liberal arts education. So it just helped, you know, having you know, advice from people that have been there and done that. Haverford's approach to the liberal arts gives students the vision and the means to change the world. And the first world they change is their own. They learn that you can, you can try to do the right thing in all of your life, in whatever you do, whether it's your intellectual pursuits, whether it's your family life, whether it's your business life, um, your community interests, that this idea of always trying to do the right thing and being true to your word is something that you don't have to lose when you leave Haverford. I really feel strongly that I'm getting an amazing education here and one that's going to be really applicable in the real world. I'm learning to think, I'm learning to write, and I'm also learning practical skills.